your second, your co-main event of the evening. Caden Gefella, redshirt freshman, number five in the country from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. The Big 12 Wrestler of the Week because of a Southern Scuffle title. Anthony Ashnault, number two in the land. Redshirt senior from South Plainfield High School in New Jersey. All the superlatives. Looking to become Rutgers' first ever four-time All-American. Immediately right in onto a low single. Got Anthony's Ashnault's leg up in the air. Good job pushing his hand away. He's got to try to walk him center center of the mat and if you're astronaut you want to get your foot back to the mat and get some hand control if you can good job of defending astronaut wrestles every position and I mean obviously right immediately in on a takedown and that's your scores the takedown out of bounds but I was gonna say right before they started wrestling that this will not mimic the 133 pound bout no this one will certainly have plenty of energy from both sides Gefeller coming off a loss yesterday to number one in the country Matt Kaladze right here you see him Get the takedown right on the edge. Looks like they both, man, that was really close. It looks like both feet went out of bounds. There's a quick start on the feller. These, the officials are, are. They're skittish. They're too, yeah, yeah, for sure, and they're definitely too involved. Ashnault trying to run out of this for an escape. The best officials are ghosts. They're, they're there to keep order and, and people safe and score. And that's wood points. To the middle at 15 seconds of riding time. Nick Piccinini, a tech fall. Dayton Fix, a sudden victory, two win by decision, three to two. Cade Brock, a 9-6 decision. That is where we stand at Oklahoma State, 11-0 up. You're not watching a replay, I promise, an hour in. We are at 149 pounds live as Anthony Ashenault out in 19 seconds, two to one. 19 seconds of riding time for Jafeller. And, and you can see both guys now need to get to their leg attacks and he needs to continue to work. Anthony working a, a Russian tie. Gefeller, a four-time Oklahoma State champ, four-time Fargo All-American as well. Two-time Pan American gold medalist, and he's got another opportunity for a takedown. Anthony, good job of scrambling wow. through that position. Wow. And really just a kind of a little bit of a knee pull as he sat, got into a good position. This is where Anthony is really, really dangerous on top. 105 wins, ninth all-time in Rutgers history. In fact, he's tied for ninth with Billy Smith, the former Rutgers heavyweight, who's in the building today. Went throw, almost had two, and you see him sit right, as soon as he sits right here, he steps up and sits right to his hip. And that's a great way to stop a guy from scrambling, is really when you put their hips to the mat with a lot of power, it kind of stops their scrambling motion. Rutgers honored three former wrestlers before the match today. Anthony Parati, who had that remarkable surprise All-American performance in 2016 at Madison Square Garden, 85 wins in his career. Wow, great. Oh, the fella with the reversal. <laughs> Went a little bit of like elevator and kind of almost like a cartwheel Gramby type of move and, and got his separation enough to get a reversal. This is gonna Anthony be fun, Ashland. folks. Wait for some points here at 149. Third wrestler Rutgers honor today, Scotty Winston, of course, three-time New Jersey State champion and was really the first prized recruit of Scott Goodell's tenure. For sure. And here you see right there, he, what a great role. Created a scramble, won the scramble. And yes, you mentioned before, Scott Winston was one of the ones they uh, honored today, was a roommate of mine in college and was a, you know, a four-time NCAA qualifier, round of 12, lost in overtime uh, to a returning national finalist in the round of 12. But, you know, he really got it started. He was the first one that came to Rutgers when, when Rutgers was really not a program Definitely. like it is today, and he got this whole thing started. So without him, you know, it's hard to imagine without Scott Winston coming to Rutgers that, you know, there's 8,000 people here today watching a dual meet. You could argue Anthony's older brother, Billy, as well, another round of 12 in the NCAA's you know, South Plainfield For guy sure, getting there's, that going. For sure, there's guys up and down the lineup, DJ Russo, a bunch of guys that you could name, but, you know, Scotty was the first prized recruit. He was the number two ranked wrestler out of all weight classes coming out of high school. So, uh, you know, for him to make a commitment like that really set the bar, and, and guys like Zanetti and Rinaldi, uh, Jesse Boyd, and a bunch of guys followed him. Vinny Delafave, another one. Three seconds to go, period one. And what has seemed like, in some ways, a one-sided period for Gefeller, it just shows you how good Ashenald is that it's still 4-4. Yeah, I mean, great wrestling by both guys. I mean, neither one came out and, and gave anybody respect. I mean, obviously, right, if you're Gefeller, you immediately attack Anthony Ashenald, and that's the goal, right? Create action, create great wrestling to watch, and, and both guys right now wrestling a really exciting match. Ashenault, first ever four-time undefeated New Jersey State champ. State titles at 103, 112, 126, 138. 
Now he's up at 149, 170 and 0 career, two-time Super 32 national champ. And, and right here, this is where he can get, he has the cross wrist. Lost it. Kefeller doing a great job of creating scrambles. You can see him kind of sitting and, and getting into almost a crab ride position, trying to go an elevator a little bit. But if Anthony's able to get that cross wrist, that really where he's dangerous, and you can see Gefeller defending it. You know, it's interesting. We thought there'd be a lot of energy in the building as Gefeller gets an escape to go up 5-4 by the time Ashnall got on the mat. But it's the exact opposite because of what happened at 33 with the video reviews. So Ashnall loves feeding off the energy, and it becomes very difficult here to recreate that. Yeah, for sure. And you see Anthony kicked him right there, let him go, probably at the exact right time before he got hit for stalling, right in on an ankle. Low single, stands him up. Yeah, I was going to say, that's not the Anthony Ashnall ankle pick. We would know if that came around. No. <laughs> that's a low single. We lost it. And great job there defending that to get slipping your knee out. That is the go-to move, which Sean Dime is referring to. And, there it is, the ankle as, pick. As we would know that. exactly when it would happen. Ashnall, it, it's, it's the MO. And, and John Smith, who's been really pumped about his wrestlers all day, it's the first time I've seen him show any sort of disgust. I'm sure that was on the scouting report, circled and underlined 10 times over, stay away from the ankle pick. And you can see everybody, <laughs> another great job of scrambling. He puts himself right in that position, and that's going to, looks like that's a reversal, a reversal to yeah. me. I don't know why they, Red definitely still doesn't have control. So it's a reversal they, that goes they from haven't that. awarded anything yeah. yet. Nice. They'll probably give him a neutral because he's not behind him, but I mean, Looks like they were stepped out of bounds, and they're saying they're still in bounds. There's the one neutral. And there's the We the go 6-6 six, six at 2.2 seconds. Right there, ankle pick, sits him right to his butt, and gets two, climbs up top. 2.2 seconds till the third. I think they'll just sit there. Riding time in favor of Anthony Ashnall, 102 and a half. So two and a half seconds. But as you said, That'll, that'll go away most likely here in the For first sure. couple seconds. Unless he can get to his feet pretty quickly. Yeah. That would be something. And that has been something over the course of Anthony's career that has been a point of emphasis. At least early on in his career, getting out from bottom was difficult, but he's done well, but it's still erased. Sure. Yep, and, and there you can see, even though he got out in eight seconds, just not enough. 55 seconds for riding time. Currently not a factor, but 7-6 in favor of Ashnall. Graduate senior, number two in the country. Missed almost all of last year due to an injury, given that sixth year of eligibility. Was the three-time male athlete of the year at Rutgers. RU does an amazing thing called the R Awards in May of each year. And they help me host it right here at the rack. It's kind of like the Oscars or Emmys of, uh, of Rutgers Athletics. Yeah, they put on a great, a great show for the athletes, and, and it's a really nice night for everybody. 7-6 so Ashenal. If you were to get a takedown, riding time could become a factor, but for now it's not at 55 seconds. There it is, deep on a single. Can he finish it? Good job. Sitting. This is the same position he got out of before, and you saw that time he went to the ankle. His, his left hand went to the ankle instead of letting Jafeller slip out of it. Riding time creeps over a minute again. 9-6, and he's looking for that cross wrist. Jafeller fighting Almost there. It. Ashnall with the mat return, tried to put him to his back. 43 seconds. And that's the strategy, right? Obviously, you can tell, you can, you can see the game plan for Jafeller in Oklahoma State. You see him slip that takedown. He was on his ankle this time. Last time that was able to slip through. But the, the, you can stay in the match with Anthony if you don't get turned. And he's excellent on top of chasing that cross wrist. So you saw you, can, you saw Gefeller doing a good job there defending that. Gefeller with the escape, 9-7. Riding time is a factor at 122. So a takedown won't be enough for Gefeller. And riding time is now locked up. 22 seconds over the minute. Ashnall going back toward the center of the mat, therefore to avoid any stalling. Rutgers looking for a little feel good after they felt snake bitten by a couple of video reviews that gave Dayton Fix a three to two win in sudden victory too. Uh, stall call with seven seconds left. I guess maybe he wants to be involved in every match. And Anthony Ashnall will hold off Caden Gefeller who will lose matches on back-to-back -back days to number one and number two. Ashnall by decision, 10 to seven.
to bring Rutgers within 11-3 in the duel, and there are some extracurricular activities between the two. <laughs> and you saw Anthony celebrate, kind of do the cowboy, and then get shoved center mat, and both guys going back. Coach Smith not happy with that. Let's see. Here's Ashnault after the win. Here's the celebration. There's the cowboy. And then he pushes him. Of course, Oklahoma State is the Cowboys. <laughs> 